What we have here are two gases at equilibrium. We have the colorless dinitrogen tetroxide and the brown colored nitrogen dioxide. Now, what we have over here is this tube is in uh, snow, so it's about freezing temperatures, and we have this tube in warm water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to free uh, to switch these tubes. So hopefully we'll see some colors changing here. Okay. And um, this is a great illustration of Le Chatelier's principle. Okay. Um, as this reaction is written, uh, this reaction is written endothermic, endothermically, where we have heat coming in to convert one dinitrogen tetroxide to two nitrogen dioxides. Um, sort of a cartoony way of depicting these molecules. So this would be nitrogen dinitrogen tetroxide, and this would be two nitrogen dioxides. You can see that to go from here to here, we're breaking a, a bond. And remember, energy must go in in order to break a bond. And if I were to put these two molecules together to form a bond, energy would be released as heat. All right. And so with Le Chatelier's principle, we find that a system tends to, an equilibrium system tends to respond in such a way as to try and counteract whatever change we implement on that system. And so if we take this system at equilibrium and we increase the temperature, what's going to happen is that the system will try to respond by shifting towards the product side to the right. So if we increase the temperature, the system will shift to the right. If we decrease the temperature, it's kind of like removing heat out of the system. The system will respond to release more heat and the system will shift towards the reactant side towards the left. And so when we increase the temperature, we can see the system shifting towards a more brown color as we produce more nitrogen dioxide gas. As we decrease the temperature, we see the system shifting more towards a more colorless uh, appearance. And um, that's because we're producing more dinitrogen tetroxide, which is colorless. And you can see that these tubes, even though I've switched their positions, have are sort of reaching a new equilibrium uh, so that, again, the more brown tube is in the warm water and the less brown tube is in the snow.